Lala is with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, good morning. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm great. Listen, when you hear Forbes magazine, you know, tout you in this way, and then you look at all that you've accomplished from bursting on the scene as a VJ to being this multi-hyphenate, how do you describe it? I'm humbled. I'm honored. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so grateful. I'm like, wow, just what an amazing thing to say about me. I know that I work really hard, but to just have someone speak about me like that is an amazing feeling and definitely something that I would never, ever take for granted. You know, and when Forbes was writing about you, they said that one of your superpowers is your confidence. And, and you were quoted as saying, never be afraid to ask questions. What did you mean by that? I think sometimes, you know, we feel like if we ask questions, it makes us feel like we're not smart or we don't know anything. And I've always been of the mindset that ask questions when you don't understand. Sometimes I sit in meetings and people are presenting things to me and everyone's like, yeah, oh, that sounds good. I'm like, guys, I really don't understand what you're talking about right now. You have to break this down so I get it. Asking questions is really the best way to know what's going on and don't ever feel like you, you're not smart or you don't know what's happening. It's really the most educated person in the room is the person that's asking questions to make sure they know what's going on. Do you think that's part of the reason you've been able to have this multi-hyphenate career? You know, as I mentioned, we're talking about books today and popular reads. One of the books you wrote was about dating and life and lessons learned. Are you able to pivot from that to acting and, and really do a great job at it, by the way, because you're the Thank curious you. person in the room, because you are willing to take those risks? Yeah, I definitely think that's part of it. And also, anytime I venture into something new, I figure out what does that mean? What do I have to do? So the acting, acting classes, acting school, you have to take it seriously. You have to log in countless number of hours and really dedicate yourself. So I knew I had to be willing to do that before just saying, hey, today I decided I <laughs> want to be an actor. Like it takes so much work and I never wanted to disrespect the craft in any way. So before I go into anything, I look at what it's going to take to do that and then make sure I'm willing to make those sacrifices to make those career changes and be an entrepreneur and be able to check so many different boxes. But it's definitely, you know, not easy. It's a lot of time, it's dedication and sacrifice, but in the end, it's it's definitely all worth it. You know, it is. And I mean, you're doing it all while raising Kyan. I can't believe he's 14. I mean, first of all, adorable. Aww. Look at that cute kid. I mean, he's 14 now. You co-parent with Carmelo Anthony, the great NBA player, you are doing it under the spotlight. He's a famous kid. He's a celeb <laughs> kid with two celebrity parents. How do you juggle that? Well, when he walks in this house, he's not a celeb kid. <laughs> oh, I've seen his Instagram. Oh, no, no, no. I'm seeing him on Instagram since you've allowed him to be on social now. He just got an Instagram probably like a month ago and he asked me every day for the last like two or three years and I was so worried and so against it. And I finally caved in about a month ago and so far it's been good. We've had no issues, but I do have a great kid who's super responsible, which makes my life a lot easier. But you know, the balancing thing is, is tough for any working mom out there to try to do it all. But as long as I prioritize him first, which he'll always be first over anything I'm doing, then kind of everything else falls into place after that. But Cayenne comes before any job or anything at all times. And everyone I work with or anyone who's a part of what I'm doing knows that. How would you feel about joining the Love at First Bite cannabis brand? What's the catch? Why does it have to be a catch? There's always a catch. There's some paperwork for you to look over. Basically, we just want to join forces with you. Will we make more money? Absolutely. This isn't out of the ordinary. Mergers happen all the time. Well, you better be talking that merger money. Welcome back. Actress, TV personality, and best-selling author Lala Anthony is here talking about her upcoming season on Showtime's hit show, The Shy. Lala, your character, you play a chef. Um, this is such an important show. I mean, from the very beginning, um, people really recognize the power of the performance and the storytelling. What was it like for you to join that cast? It was so amazing. I've been such a fan of Lena Waithe for such a long time and how she tells important, powerful stories that need to be heard. And I would always say, whenever the opportunity presents itself, I would just love to be a part of what you're doing. So when the role of Dom came upon and I was able to audition and get the part, it was so amazing because it's such a relevant show to our culture, to what people, sometimes issues that we don't want to address that need to be 
paid attention to. We touch on so many things. And again, to be part of such an amazing series is incredible. It's on Showtime right now, Sunday nights. I gather up Sunday nights with friends and family and we watch it. And it's, it's, it's just an incredible experience.